How's it going? My name's Jace Tunnel uh, with the Mission Aransas National Ice Cream Research Reserve. And I wanted to be able to, I know a lot of people are stuck at home right now. And so uh, they're not able to get out to the beach. And I know a lot of people like to walk on the beach and stuff like that. So we thought we'd do a little virtual uh, uh, beach walk along the high tide line to see what we can find. Now I live across the street from the beach, so I just kind of walked over here. But um, let's walk along here and just see what's coming up. You know, uh, we consider the high tide line of wherever we find little pieces of trash and things like that. Um, uh, I, actually, not necessarily trash, but even uh, natural objects that come up. But where the water line comes up, you can see it right here, it's coming up and then it pushes whatever's floating up to the line and you can usually find some really cool things in there. So, um, like this right here. This is one of the key things about this time of year. You start getting um, sargasm. This floats in huge mats out in the Gulf of Mexico, actually out into the Atlantic and the Caribbean. Um, but whenever this stuff starts coming in, if you have a bucket of water, you can shake it um, whenever you get it out of the water. And in that bucket, you'll find all kinds of shrimps and crabs, uh, nudibranchs, all kinds of neat things like that. Um, they also have these little bulbs and stuff here, uh, fish, birds, sea turtles, things like that. Uh, love to eat on this kind of stuff. And it provides a uh, habitat. So think about habitat out in the Gulf of Mexico. You know, not a lot out there, right? Well, this provides some, of the, some good habitat. Uh, let's walk along here. And uh, I'm on North Padre Island here. Okay, this is uh, just looks like a piece of shell. Looks like uh, oyster shell. Um, some uh, some not natural types of things that we find are uh, little bits of plastic. Let me turn it around here. See little uh, bits of plastic all in here. This stuff just kind of breaks down over time. These were products at one time. Now look at this. Let's see. Yeah. So this right here, uh, the last few weeks, this has been showing up quite a bit. This is a wax, paraffin wax. And um, this comes out of uh, ship tanks and things like that. Um, and pipelines that are being cleaned, kind of a byproduct, but once it's being cleaned out, um, it get, sometimes we find some of the stuff up on the beach. Uh, let's see here. And I'm just walking along here. This looks like a black mangrove seed uh, uh, leaf, actually, little leaf. Uh, okay. <clears throat> it's actually pretty clean today. Not a lot of stuff. Let's see here. Uh, barnacle. Um, some green algae probably growing on a stick or something in here oh actually it's a piece of metal be sure to throw that away now one thing that we were finding a lot of here's one right here are these uh, by the wind sailors they're little jellyfish but if you look real close you can see it's got that little it looks like a sail on it now they do sting, but they can't really sting humans. It's more their stinging cells uh, for catching their prey and things like that, uh, that they eat. But um, over the last few weeks, there's been um, thousands of these just washing up on the beach and they can, get, they can get a little bigger than this as well. But I thought those were pretty cool. Okay, that's probably enough information for today. Um, we'll try to do this at least once a week um, so we can give people a chance to see what's out on the beach. All right, for now, I'm signing off. Talk to y'all later. Bye. Okay, so um, this is Jace Tunnel here at the Mission Aransas Reserve. I was walking along the high tide line here. Um, uh, like we're doing uh, to kind of tell people you know what's on the beach right now things like that but um, check this out I just found a pin shell pretty cool huh usually there's uh, two sides of this opens like that but uh, it's got this real shiny look to it pretty neat uh, another thing is we talked about last time is uh, sargasm which creates uh, you know it's a floating habitat out in the Gulf of Mexico here 
Another thing I'm, we're finding uh, in this uh, high tide line, here's a, some people see these seeds and they think they're lima beans or something like that, but uh, it's actually a black mangrove seed, a little uh, shrub that grows uh, along the edge of the shorelines, uh, usually in the bays and things like that. But you can see it's kind of uh, opening up here, kind of neat. Another thing over the last few weeks, is you see this this is actually a bulb from a water hyacinth so that's a freshwater plant so you think about all the rivers that are flowing uh, towards the ocean uh, a lot of that stuff gets flushed out and so this is one of the things we find sometimes is whenever there's heavy rains the rivers are washing out and we find uh, freshwater type plants then another thing that we uh, find a lot of here um, and the high tide line is all you see all this black stuff these are all this is all burnt wood from fires and things like that and so sometimes you'll find um, quite a bit of that stuff um, other than that i think that's good for today thanks how's it going uh, jace here from mission Rangers reserve at uh, university of texas marine science institute um, one of the things we find a lot of um, when we're at the beach are different types of plastics and things like that. So I just walked up and uh, found this piece of plastic here and um, uh, you know this is, is pro was probably from a bag or something like that. It's real thin. But you'll notice, I don't know if you can see that, but there's a diamond shape in there. And then there's also little diamond uh, kind of uh, shapes, triangle shapes uh, here along the edge. Those are from uh, turtle bites. Uh, not only turtle bites, but uh, a trigger fish can also make that. But many times it's from turtles. And so uh, what we find is uh, that smaller turtles have more plastic in their stomachs than larger uh, ones. So you see these, uh, the smaller uh, bites here. And so I always try to pick that kind of stuff up when I find it at the beach. Now another thing um, that we find a lot of, which is interesting, and, and I just picked this up here. Um, toothbrush. Find a lot of toothbrushes. Now we also find a lot of uh, natural stuff as well. So, you know, we've got uh, shells and things like that. Um, let's see, uh, black mangrove seeds. Um, sargasm as we've mentioned before um, let's see oh and then some of y'all have heard us talk before and here's there's quite a few of them are these little plastic pellets uh, called nurdles and these are the basis for everything plastic so it's the raw material so this toothbrush you know it, it was first a pellet they make the pellets and then they ship them around the world and then they they're able to make um, melt them down and put color to them to be able to make like toothbrushes uh, bags you know things like that uh, bottle caps which we find a lot of uh, but we find find a lot of that type of stuff here so if you're ever walking along we actually have a citizen science project called nurdle patrol where you can spend 10 minutes looking for these plastic pellets and then once you um, you're done with 10 minutes you uh, count how many you have and then put them into nerdlepatrol.org which is a website we run to be able to see where these things are coming from so we find the highest concentrations of them um, other than that you know a lot of sticks and things like that um, if you all have any questions for us um, or anything that y'all would like to see at the beach during this time when we're trying to um, you know stay indoors let us know put comments down there and we'll try to um, we'll try to you know get some information out to you about that and, and I want to show you this real fast I'm, I'm looking over here here in a high tide line look at that it's a diamond shape um, yellow so luckily the turtle did not eat this they obviously took a bite out of some yellow plastic but um, then they spit it out so that's good but that's what that diamond shape is a turtle or a triggerfish did that okay so leave us some comments and uh, we'll see you later bye now sometimes people get annoyed with what they call the the seagull but um, in actuality at least most of these with the black heads on them are laughing gulls and i really like those you know i uh, grew up here in corpus christi um, 
and then I moved away for a number of years out to uh, Florida and things like that. But every time I'd hear one of these laughing gulls, it always reminded me of home. And so I kind of, I really like these. I know people come out here and feed them Cheetos and things like that, and that's not right. You know, you should never try to feed them something like that. Uh, they're scavengers, so they go around and feed on whatever they can. But um, they're a really uh, cool bird. And so if you get a chance, um, sit and look at them at some time. Look at their uh, detail in their beak and around their eyes and things like that. They're actually a really pretty bird, and we're lucky to have so many of them. Uh, that's it for today.